Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, I'll be bringing you guys the new Sprout Gadget. So the new Sprout Gadget uh, is going to be pretty weird. It might actually shake up the meta a little bit because it looks pretty OP. You can block off uh, two different entrance points with this uh, gadget. It looks pretty cool. You know, the other gadget, Gotham Mulcher, is pretty good as well. So it'll be interesting to see if it's pretty good. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Alright guys, hopping into the first map, which is probably going to be the best for this gadget, I imagine it's going to be Crystal Arcade, so Sprout's really good in the mid on this map inside of Competitive and on Ladder, so uh, the way you want to be playing this, you've got to obviously play a bit more cautious, because, you know, with the change of the gadget, you can't really tank as much as you would like, you know, normally you could just pop the gadget, go back into the gunfight, you know, like constantly, I'm actually getting wrecked by the Sprout here, but, you know what I mean, you literally, uh, you heal up half of your HP with just one gadget from before, so it's going to take a while to adjust to that kind of change. But you'll see once I get a wall here, I could just place this wall in the mid and then wait until the um, it's about to expire. So around the yeah, 10 second mark, probably like around 8 seconds, and then we're going to be able to get a new wall. So, you know, I'm going to do it now. I'll be getting a new wall into play and you can just see how crazy it is. You're blocking off so much with these walls. It's going to be hard with a tower pet to compete with his, sp uh, with his sprout in the middle. We're kind of getting wrecked at the moment, so I've got to try and heal up. All right, now time to go aggressive. So I'm already kind of close to my next set of walls. We've, luckily, we've got that tower pet able to take down that sprout. So looking like we're able to establish some control. So again, using the wall and got to wait uh, around the eight nine second mark uh, because that's when the wall's going to expire and it does destroy it. So you've got to uh, take that into consideration. Uh, it's about to expire now, so we will pop it now and use it. I'm not too sure if it resets your um, super. I didn't actually take note of that. I think it actually did just reset my super. So um, I'm not too sure really. But he's just blocked off mine. Um, I maybe should have just tr tried it out there. You know, we're about to get wall soon again. So, you know, <laughs> it's like the first time we're playing this as well. So we're kind of learning together. But, you know, from just Sprout playing him in competitive, I already know that he's really, really good on this map. So I'm going to try and block off this spike down this lane. Nice kill here. We only need one more gem for the countdown. So I'm just going to use the gadget here. And yeah, it just gives us... Yeah, obviously it gives us another super and it resets the kind of uh, countdown of it. I mean, it's up to you how you can use it. You know, you can use it uh, to quickly block off another exit point. You can use it to good effect by waiting until the time is about done. But that's going to be the first map where I believe Sprout's going to be really OP on. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, heading into the next map where i believe sprout's gonna be pretty dominant on especially on a competitive um stone fort i think it has actually turned into merch fort now it might even even change to a new name not too sure but you know this this um this snow update is pretty epic i love the uh, theme of this but yeah when sprout's played in competitive on this map he's played quite a lot in the mid and his walls are really toxic we're blocking off certain areas you know you can block off the uh, entrance point you know right here you know there's four entrance points into this mid and you know if you can keep cycling out over and over again then it's definitely going to be toxic it allows you to get so much control of that middle area you know picking up the gems as much as possible um okay so finally we've got our wall here let's try and make an aggressive play let's box that guy in and now we know he's only around here so you know if we want to uh use our super again we're probably going to use it here again let's place a new wall and then there's another 10 seconds where we're able to get him out so i believe that's probably like the best uh kind of way to use it um I mean, it's about to expire so again i'll just pop it there uh just trying to use them uh really quick i still don't think you know just off using this straight away i don't feel like it's going to be a better gadget than the other one you know the other gadget for sprout is just super toxic i mean if, if you use your free walls straight at the beginning it could be pretty good it's gonna always as always with new things it will take a while to get used to but you kind of seen the dominant effects so i was just able to cycle supers over and over again you know it takes five shots to get your super sprout that's quite a long time so that's going to be another game let's hop into the next one all right guys hopping into this next game then so brubble sprout really isn't the best on brubble i mean he's good on competitive but you know it's kind of really hard to teach how he's good on you know you know he has certain counters but on this map uh on ladder you know he's actually going to be pretty decent on so again this map has a lot of like uh small entry points and that's why it's going to be like really toxic to use this gadget. You know, you've got to think of maps that, you know, literally have a few engine points. So this one, Sneaky Fields, it has three main ones where you're able to block it off a lot of the time. So you can see here, I'm just going to wait for these guys to respawn. 
I'm probably just going to use my wall there and try and trap these guys. And that was a bit of a bad wall. I could have maybe uh, got a better usage out of that. So you can see straight away they're going to get their wall again. I'm just going to throw my wall out here. Block that spike out for as long as possible. And it's just going to be like plant warfare with all these walls at the moment. So I'm pretty close to my wall. There's no point really using my gadget now. Maybe it's best if you're trying to heal up and you've just used a wall. You know, you can run back. And then you basically got a free super straight away if you um if you manage it well enough. So here we go, we've got another wall. You can see how much it just blocks off. It's just <laughs> the whole map's just getting completely, you know, it's blocked off by all these walls. I think he's using the same gadget as well. You know, this this wall's about to expire, so let's put a wall here. It's just it's infinite walls, it's infinite walls. It's gonna definitely change up uh the way Sprout is played, you know, if this is uh used differently. It's going to take a while because we're so used to the other stop, uh, the other gadget. And as I said a hundred times, the other gadget is just so good. You know, if, if, if aggressive, aggressive brawler is literally uh, right next to, you know, you can pop your gadget and just heal up a lot of the time and just stay alive. It comes clutch a lot of the times. But, you know, this one's completely different in the sense that it removes the survivability of, Sp of Sprout. But, you know, it, um, it actually allows you to, you know, control the map a lot better. It allows you to block off all these different exits and you know if you've got other brawlers surrounding you that are also like that it's going to be pretty good so i mean i've got one gadget left not really done too much you know i've just been having fun just just throwing my walls everywhere about i'm about to get another set of walls so i'm just going to use my gadget here and block off this tower from exiting so you know with my wall i'm not allowing her to get out i'm probably going to die to this uh pet here but yeah that's going to be another map which sprout is going to be pretty OP on. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, going on to the next map, which I believe Sprout with this gadget is going to be pretty OP on. And, you know, this is one of Sprout's best maps. It's going to be Canal Grande. So, again, with Bounty, you know, you're switching out the survivability aspect of Sprout. You know, a lot of times I could just go really aggressive because I know I've got that gadget as a safety net. I could just, you know, literally go to go so aggro and, you know, pop the gadget heal up. But, you know, now you have to play Sprout so much differently. You know, it takes five shots to get the first wall, which is always going to be really hard to get. And the Sprout 1v1 matchups, you know, it'd take a while for the Sprouts to win because, you know, both Sprouts will be using all the gadgets. So it takes so long to kill a Sprout when he's got that other gadget. Uh, but for this one, I feel like on Canal Grande, you know, it's a really tight map. So if you're going to get your wall, um, it's going to be really hard to gain back control. So I'm just going to throw my wall here, block off a lot of uh, entry points. Again, countdown around in my head 10 seconds well eight seconds and then get ready to uh use my gadget to get my next wall so again i've got my next wall already able to take him down and if you guys actually didn't know of a fun spot uh, you can actually place a wall like right here on canal grande and trap yourself in so that's actually pretty funny i uh, probably got to use a gadget to get out of this mess and you see straight away got my wall back i could just use a wall here uh it's pretty epic and then again if you know if i want to just block this tick off i could just pop it and then you know remove it <laughs> he thinks he's going to get in there but you know instead i'll pop my gadget and i'm able just to remove that or oh, nearly going down to that piper uh gadget there but i don't know how i don't know how i feel about this gadget you know i'm trying to think of good uses of it but in my head i just i can't really see why you would switch out the other sprout gadget for this one i mean time will literally tell especially with a weird gadget like this but you know this is going to be another map where sprout is just so dominant on anyway and competitive on la and ladder let's hop into the next one all right so we know how good sprout is in bounty he's really dominant in bounty you know he's decent in rubble he's really good in gem grab and even on siege maps like this you know this gadget i feel like could actually be pretty decent because this you know there's this choke point in mid and if you get your wall you can just keep uh, blocking off the enemy sprout i'm probably gonna get hit back here you know we're getting kind of dominated inside of this one but you know i'm only a few shots away from my wall already i've already got it here someone's gonna place the wall here block out alfie and you know it's really toxic in that aspect because again i'm gonna wait around i think you have to get in range of your wall here so uh which is a bit weird an active hedge is required okay so when you uh die as well you can't just um then press the gadget and get in the wall i mean i kind of yeah, yeah, I understand why they haven't done that, you know, a bit strange, but it's probably just to block off people in the spawns and whatnot. But now, you know, only a few shots away from my wall, should be able to get Alfie close to dead there. If not, I'm just able to place my wall there, so completely blocking him out of mid. 
which is pretty epic. You know, all these sprout walls are just blocking off so much entrance points. Again, I've got my new wall. I'm just going to try and place it on this BB. Okay, no, that is not the best plan. I'm able to get her down. So I'm, this wall's in the way, so I'm just going to pop my gadget here and try and get Alfie down. I'm nearly able to do so. Okay, nice. He's really weak. So we need to defend this, and then we're able to get the last one. But, you know, you can just see the absolute chaos just blocking off all the lanes. There's not a lot of place to actually move on this map. So using this uh, gadget is going to be really toxic to that effect. So let's block off this BB, uh, which is pretty epic. She's going to be pretty mad there. So I'm nowhere near my super, so I'm just going to pop this gadget and get myself a free super just like that get myself out of spawn so it's good in that aspect when we don't actually need any bolts we've already won this round so as long as we just stay alive we should manage to do well i'm just going to block off this uh, bb anyway from mid you know i'll take the 1v2 <laughs> situation and the whole mid is actually blocked off from sprout wow that is that is um that's quite bm there bit annoying you know i used to hate the old sprout it kind of Makes me feel of the old Sprout vibes. Maybe the Sprout's actually better with the other star power. Uh, especially on maps like this where you're just destroying the grass already. Uh, oh no, I just completely... I think I just completely threw that. Um, the bot's actually going around the complete uh, long way. Hopefully the Sprout hasn't got a wall. I mean, we should be able to end this. BB's going aggro on me. She should be defending. So it looks like we've probably got this. So yeah, Sprout, you know, he's going to be pretty weird, I feel. I don't feel like this uh, gadget's pretty... Uh, good but we'll see in the future all right guys it's going to be the end of today's video let me know if you enjoyed as i said about 100 times in that video it's, it's going to be really hard to kind of adjust to this uh gadgets completely different you're going to be playing sprout completely different i really enjoy his other gadgets so i don't think i'll be switching off a bit in the meantime but you know in scrims we'll uh, mess around with it see if it's good on so that's going to be the end of today's video hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you all next time